First question is from Mitch B. Smith. What are some ways to improve mind-muscle connection? You know, the, the mind-muscle connection is something that bodybuilders talk about uh, all the time, right? It's being able to feel a muscle, a target muscle through uh, the you know range of motion of particular exercise. They've actually done studies to show that people can improve the or increase the amount of muscle fibers that fire in muscles that they start to improve this connection to. So this is a good thing to focus on. This is where the value, the big value in isolation exercises comes from, in mm -hmm. my opinion. Isometrics, you mean? Uh, isometrics and isolation. Yeah, say isometrics are incredible for Excellent. Us. And, oh, yeah. So like compound lifts use so many different muscles that if you have a hard time, like for example, feeling your chest in a bench press, one of the best things you could do, in my opinion, is either an isometric squeeze of the chest or like a cable fly or something that isolates the chest mm -hmm. so you can feel it and then do your compound lift. So I think isometrics or isolation slowing the exercise down, going lighter. Those would be my three. Yeah, single joint going slow and really like paying attention to the feel. Uh, the first time I read this question, I remember like, uh, was it The Rock or was it just like, focus? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he's like, like just yells it out in the gym. But I think that people don't realize that's a major factor. Like we just kind of get in the rhythm and we get in the momentum of, of moving and exercising and we don't really pay attention totally. uh, you know, to what's at hand. And also too, if, if there is like a, a lagging body part or there's a lack of connectivity, you can increase that by simply, you know, really hyper-focusing on the squeeze and you know getting uh you know that recruitment process like more honed in on the only thing i would add to what you guys said is practice i mean when you think about an athlete who gets really good at throwing a ball it gets really that's that's improving your mind muscle connection yeah. the ability to throw a perfect spiral super hard like tom brady does with the accuracy a lot of that mind muscle is improved mind muscle connection over years and years of throwing the ball and lots of repetition so uh, isometrics, isolation exercises, and then just flat out practicing that movement with the understanding of what your desired outcome is. So my yes. desired outcome is I want to squat, I want to fill it in my glutes. So doing those things that we're talking about, uh, isolation and isometric exercises to get the glutes to fire, but then also just practicing that movement, knowing I'm trying to fire the glutes. I'm glad you said that at the end because throwing a practicing to throw a football better would be more like mind to movement connection, mm -hmm. right? Versus mind to muscle, which mind to muscle isn't doesn't necessarily mean better movement. Like, mm. what I mean by that is a power lifter is constantly focusing on how to improve the efficiency and the leverage of a squat. They really don't care if they feel in the quads, glutes, hams. It's like how can I squat more weight? How can I improve the skill of my squat so I can lift more? Versus someone who's like, man, I want to really build my butt. I can't feel my butt. It's not so much about using more leverage or it's really about feeling the target muscle, which is a different Creating feel. muscle tension. But pra like you said, Adam, practicing the connection yeah. often, right? So like if you have a poor connection to a muscle, every time you train this muscle with all the exercises, that should be the focus. Can I feel it? Can I feel it? Can I feel it? Not how much weight you lifted or you know how, you know, how great your performance was. Rather, how much better can I get this muscle to? And even connect? when you're not exercising, right? So that's what's great about things like trigger sessions. If you are yeah. practicing just activating that muscle, even with no resistance, totally. what is only going to make you better with that mind-muscle connection. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here, or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.